Hi there, my name is James Goulburn. I am a trader at JP Morgan in New York. And in terms of what did I study after leaving King's? So I left King's in 2011 and I took a gap year immediately afterwards. I spent the time traveling around the world, um, particularly Africa and Asia, given they were geographies I haven't explored before. I then went on to study economics at Cambridge, which was a fantastic experience. I'd studied economics, maths, and politics for A-level, and I knew that I wanted to learn more about how the economy functioned, but also um, more on human decision making and, and the, uh, the intricacies behind that. So I chose to study economics, which was a great experience. How did, how did I get into finance? So I knew that uh, studying the economy, I, I found it extremely interesting, both at, at King's and also at university. And I really wanted a job that allowed me to read, think and write about the most important economic issues and, and topics facing facing the world. Um, I knew I wanted to work on, on a trading floor and so I secured a 10-week internship at JP Morgan, um, which is a large US investment bank, in my second year of university, which ultimately led to a full offer um, for a full-time job on, on graduation. So getting the internship was extremely important ultimately in, uh, in securing a full-time role with the vast majority of, of my classmates who, who got a full-time offer, um, also going through the intern program. What do I enjoy most about my role and, and why? I think there are, there are two main things that I would draw out in terms of my role that, that I enjoy. Firstly, is the number of different people that I get to meet um, as, I, as I have traveled around the world. So I worked in London with JP Morgan for, for the first five years of, uh, of my career. I got to travel to Africa, the Middle East, all over Europe for work, meeting, meeting clients and, and companies. And I've subsequently moved to, to New York. I've been living here um, and working here on the US trading desk for, for the last year. So beyond the people, I think the, the very interesting part is the variety of the day-to-day -day work. So you can move from discussing central bank decisions to helping clients think about the impact of coronavirus on the economy, right down to assessing, analysing a company's strategic decisions. So you don't know what the topic that you're going to be discussing the following week is, and that's extremely, extremely interesting. And what do I find most challenging about my role? I think it is dealing with an extremely large volume of, of new information on, on a daily basis. So, I mean, I look at 100 companies across the US uh, financial sector. I will speak to, you know, regularly speak to 20, 30, 40 um, people in different parts of the bank and, and across my client base every day to understand what those new developments in the economy and from a political perspective mean for the companies that, that we all spend our time looking at and, and thinking about. And so there's a, very, uh, there's a very interesting blend of micro, but also macro above that. And from that perspective, um, it's very interesting, but it's also, it can be very, very challenging in terms of the number of, of demands that there are on, on your time. Um, what advice would I give to people that are looking to get started in the industry? Again, two points of, of advice I give. One is definitely plan ahead. So while it is difficult, often jobs like mine require work experience or internships in order to get a full-time offer. So you can't leave it until the summer of graduating university to find a job in an extremely competitive field like finance. So if you want to get ahead, you need to start thinking about your strategy for applications, for internships, as soon as you get to, to university. So if you don't do it, other people will be doing it and they will get ahead. And I think the other thing is, is just be committed. So, I mean, I got a lot of rejections for, for, for before getting my role. I mean, I applied to 18 different banks and, and I got one offer. So it only takes one to accept you. The applications are very hard, they're very time consuming, but you will be successful if you stick with with the process. Um, so don't take rejection personally, I think.